Oh, good grief. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my gosh. There we go. <laughs> it was one of those moments, friends, where uh, you're like, cool, three, two, one, live. And then you look over and you're like, wait, why didn't I see the blinking light that says go? <laughs> All right. Happy Friday, friends. Uh, I'm going to do the finale of Theophilus, a.k.a. Theophil, uh, on Steam today. I will let you know that I did complete the game off stream just to see how things were going. Um, oh, no. You see, I started my stream the other day without a microphone attached at all. Uh, I guess it's a siblings thing then, huh, you see? <laughs> Oh, good grief. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, so good morning to you. Good morning to Tangi and to Phantom. Anyone else that's lurking and working today? Appreciate you all hanging out with me. Uh, so yes, I did complete the uh, story for this. Um, I won't tell you how it ends, but I know where to go to make it happen. Uh, and then we'll see how much time we have. Counting my death counter. Phantom has my death counter ready and waiting. Uh, and then we will uh, see how the rest of the stream goes. Um, I'm thinking I might pull another game off of my Steam library. Uh, but we shall see. I'm hoping this won't take me an hour to finish this. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to do that way before then. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get to it. And let me know how things are going here. It did have audio. What is happening? Sound on. You should hear the audio on this game. Oh, dang it. It was, it was here, friends. I'm telling you. I heard it on the way. Okay, hold on a second. You know what I'm going to do? I want you to hear this audio because it's nice and, and uh, dreary. Okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to quit. We're going to close everything down. And we're going to restart it. Because when I was doing the framing today, it actually worked. It was easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I'm not sure why it stopped. The music stopped. Where did all the music go? Right? Right? Okay, play. Everything's perfect. That's great. Maybe I just need to turn it on and off again. Is it going to be one of those days, friends? Is it going to be one of those days? See, now I'm not getting any audio from him. Oh, Theophilus. Oh, Theophilus. What say you, Theo? What say you, Theo? Oh, TNG, thank you so much for the subs, my dear. I do appreciate it. All right, and you all are not hearing any audio from the game, right? Making sure this is not just me. Yeah, making sure it's not just me. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, there we go. That was so strange. Okay, now you all can hear it. Okay, hold on. Let me turn it down. There it goes. There it goes. Now you all should be able to hear it, yes? Um, is it too loud? No, I think it's okay, right? Sounds nice and... Does it sound uh, ominous? That's what I'm going for today. We're going for ominous ominousity. <laughs> uh, is it too loud, Phantom? Let me know if it's too loud. Loud? 
loud but not outrageous. Okay. Uh, I could definitely turn it down. Do, 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 do. I have to like jump out of the game and then jump back in. There we go. Okay, friends. So, last time we had to go in this creepy temple, right? Right? And then I figured out we're not supposed to go down this way. Okay, we're going to go up this way. Dodging the blades of death. Okay. And then we come around this bend here. And go down and around. And then we come up to this spot. Now, here is where it gets tricky. We've got these platforms that I, I call the lava platforms, right? Okay. Gus helped me realize that if you take one one at a time, it'll actually allow you to uh, make adjustments in midair as you're playing, okay? So we're going to go like this. Just take it one day at a time. One pad at a time, okay? And then we're going to go along this edge here. Okay, straighten out, turn around, Theo, and then we're not do that not do that okay so this is what not to do we'll start over <laughs> it's better if i explain it and then just do it and then having me explain while doing it okay so that's death counter number one keep tabs joe keep tabs okay so here we go so we're gonna go around this nice blades blades in your face scary blades get out of my way because i am theo gonna save the day oh it's this game <laughs> no you see i figured out how to beat this game okay don't you worry about it i figured it out i did it off stream so i know what i'm doing i know where to go Okay. But guess what, friends? Well, I'll let you know. I'll let you in on the secret when I get past these uh past these platforms. Run, Theo, run. Okay. When I get past these platforms, right? Okay. Okay, so I get past these platforms. Now, we have the gems are fireballs, y'all. Why did no one tell me this in the rules? Oh, that's right, because they don't tell you it in the rules. The gems are fireballs. This is what happens when you button mash off stream. Yeah, EC. Yeah. So look at this. All right. So we're going to hear Satan. Lucifer in all of his glory. He's going to try to take me out. But I'm just going to show you a little tour of the place. He's got his nice little platform here. We've got some flames that we can't go past. So we must defeat him before before we die, okay? So there's nothing else in this room. There was a box that did have a potion, but I used it in the before times. And now I'm just out on my own. However, do you see this? I have full life, everybody. I have full life. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go right up to this Fulio, throw him in. Hey. Ah. Okay. Okay. So somehow he blocked it, which is not great. Mm. 
Nope, nope. Nope, 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 Theo. Does he need to be off the thing? Is that what's happening? Does he need to be not on his platform in order for me to, like, attack him? Yeah, it looks like he's blocking it. Ugh. Oh, I got him down. Got him down. Now there's his heart. Did I defeat him? Oh, yeah. Theo's the man. I did it, y'all. Look at this. I did it. Then what happens? The flames go away. The flames have gone away. They have gone away. Coffee with French vanilla, says Tangi. I'm drinking some Twinnings English breakfast tea. Tan, I defeated I defeated Lucifer. I defeated him. Hi, James. I defeated him. So now I go through here. Through this tunnel into the nothing and it says the end of chapter one to be continued and that's it that's it everyone a cliffhanger exactly right because if you notice if you notice here We are at eight, eight of 12 in the story, right? We're at eight of 12 in the story. So is there a way for us to have to go back and like, are there actually 12 scrolls in this first chapter or are the remaining four scrolls in another chapter? That's what I don't know. So that's what I don't know. But that my friends, it's Theophilus. We have defeated Satan. He is no more. Uh, I did look up this game online and it was made during the pandemic times. So I have a feeling that it might not get its second chapter for a while. Um, but who knows? Uh, this is the first time in a long time I've actually defeated a game. So I call it a win, everybody. I call it a win today. And hello to Gus. Welcome in. And James and Tan. Thank you so much for joining me today, y'all. I am going to uh, pull up something else on my Steam. <gasps> you know what? You know what? Tan was so gracious to gift me some of these things. I think it might be some escape room time today, everybody. Escape room time today. We're gonna do an escape room game. Oh man, that's gonna take forever to download. That's gonna take forever to download. The escape room simulator, that's right. Oh, good gravy. So, what are my thoughts on Theophilus? Uh, the game was okay. It could have been a lot better in terms of its abilities and graphics and stuff. The storyline was pretty simple. You don't really know what you're doing until you just start whacking things. <laughs> so I don't know if I would recommend it to people to play, honestly. Um, it was cheap on Steam. I think it was only like three or four bucks. So I don't mind that. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, eh. I could have spent my three or four dollars on on something else, to be honest. So, um, yeah, not my favorite one. 
You could join me in a multiplayer escape simulator. You could, Tan. I am downloading it right now. It was in my library and I hadn't, in, or not downloading it. I haven't installed it yet. That's what I'm saying. But it's over halfway. Uh, I don't know how to set up a multiplayer game on it. So you'll just have to walk me through how to do that. But yeah, I'm thinking we could do an escape room simulator. Um, oh, maybe we can do like a, a Discord call or something, Tan. Is that what you're thinking? We could do a Discord call. Because yeah, friends, that only took me like 15 minutes to figure it out. All the hours I spent with Theo just hacking at stuff and not getting anywhere. Uh, that was a little bit anticlimactic. I will say, though, when I had to play, when I had to uh, com compete against Lucifer, I did not know I could throw my gems as fireballs. Uh, so I was just whacking it with my st whacking it with my staff, and I was like, "Oh, good gravy! This is not working." Um. Oh no, we could just do we could just do audio tan if you don't want to if you don't want to like uh, have video. That's totally fine. Let's just do audio. Let's just do audio. We'll make it easy peasy. Yeah, so this is almost one done here. See if I can get the uh, wonderful tan on stream with us. Yeah, let's just do let's just do audio. Let's just do audio, tan. All right, it is finishing. Here we go. Escape simulator. Do, 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 Let me try to window it first, Tan, so I can, uh, because I'm only using one screen right now. Let me. Screen, let's do windowed. Yeah, let's do a windowed screen. Let's fit this over here. So friends, this escape room simulator, if you're not following Tan, you should. Uh, Joe, can you give a shout out to Tantaralis, please? Tantaralis? Tantaralis, he's my friend. Tantaralis, he's my friend. Thank you. Uh, so he was recently doing this escape room simulator. And it was pretty cool. Pretty cool to uh, see him kind of navigate stuff around. So let's see. I'll have to make it just a tiny bit smaller. Just a tiny bit smaller. And then I'll start a Discord call with you, Tan, in just a second. Boop, 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 Tan usually plays games, interacting with the chat. The other day he was doing one of these escape rooms, escape room simulator, and uh, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Can I move this over? There we go. There we go. All right, Tan. See if I can do this here. All right, so we got my escape room simulator. I'm going to give Tan a call. See if we can get this started here. Da, 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 da. 
All right, got to make sure. Got it. Okay. And Hello, Tan. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Perfect. Perfect. Let me see. Let me see how your volume is. I'll have to turn down the volume on the uh, game here. We'll do it about, let's do about 50% here. And then we should be good to go. All right. Dan, can you say something for me? Test, test. This is an audio test. Is everything fine? Let us know in chat. Yeah, you all should be here in tan. I see you in my OBS, so that's a good sign. That's a very good sign. Uh, yeah, so we've got... So would I choose to play co-op <laughs> then, Tan? Yes, or should I go ahead and host the game? Uh, you can, and then do you just invite me through Escape Simulator? Correct. Okay. So, which rooms have you played yet? I've only done have that one any? library, that's it. Okay, so I would uh, suggest we play one from the extra levels. Okay. Because uh, there's one that I have not played yet, and it has uh, cats as a theme, cats in time. Ah, nice. nice so that nice, should nice. also be already installed and you should have gotten an invite via steam okay play game good yeah perfect you joined so let's cats in time oh that's gonna be great this is gonna be great Hey, good evening, Tan. Steampunk chess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now so, tell me the um because I've got I'm using a mouse to do my maneuvering. Do I also need so to use I? the keypads for oh yeah, uh, for going forward yeah, the and stuff. Typical W A S D. Yeah, okay. There's a cat in this box. Okay, so here's the alarm clock, which needs some fingers. So let's place this here so we know this needs some. I want to look inside this box. What's in this box? Okay. There's a cat in this box, Tan. Okay. It's got a nice, it's got a cute little bandana on it. <laughs> okay, so I have three. That's and there's three another cat in. over here. Oh, that must be a plushie. So there's a plushie cat in the box. And then there's a plushie cat up here on the shelf. Okay, so maybe we need to collect. Ah, yeah, and there's another one here. A plushie, okay. Another Oh, we got a, a, a gas can. As well. What's in the box? <laughs> Quaid. Uh, Quaid, let us know if you can hear Tan okay through uh, chat. All right, so I see another cat plushie. There's a tiny one, Tan, and we've got a bolt and a screw. Oh, yeah. Some more plants. So maybe we will have to find a place and sort them by size or by their headwear. Oh, that okay. Might be one of the things okay let's so grab let's the other one up. i'm going to yeah let's grab some of them and let's place them oh no <laughs> cowboy hat cat went down 
There we go. Because maybe because we have different sorts of plates right here. Oh, there's a spray paint. Okay. Yeah. Carbon plaque. Hands audio is coming through. Okie doke. Great. Good. Okay. Yeah, so I see that too, Tan. We've got, they're all different sizes. Do you see any more? Any more cats? I see a, I see a little mouse. Let's place it right next to the cats. <laughs> oh, there's a cupboard here too that looks like a puzzle underneath the sink, Tan. Oh, there's a book. Let's place it. Oh, the Fibonacci sequence. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Oh, okay. It's basically, yeah. Uh, and the Lucas sequence. Okay. Okay, so let's place... The, oh, that's not the one I wanted to do. Found a lock. I found a lost box. Place the book over Oh, and these. there's another book here, too. I place that on top of somebody's diary. Oh, Fibonacci that... home systems, okay. Hmm. What is up here? Okay, so let's take a look. In there's the a math basket. Book. Oh gosh, there's a ball. A toy ball. Okay, so that should be in a basket. Okay. And that's the eight. So A should be eight and B shall be thirty-four. And there's a bunch of tires here too. Hmm. What else shall we do? Okay, there's a bunch of boxes in here, too. Oh, you took the gas. There's another gas can. What does this hmm. gas can say? Okay. Oh, it's the same thing. Some bolts and screws. Some plants, a lamp. Okay, let's take a look at the lamp. Let's Why do I see so special. many gas cans? This is so. This is kind of, kind of un, kind of disturbing, Tan. <laughs> oh no! No, don't drop! Oh. <laughs> don't drop the gas, Jess. <laughs> it's okay as, as long as you don't use. Oh, a... no. As long as I don't oh. use a match. <laughs> I uh, unlocked the computer. Oh, great. I'm just willy-nilly doing the... stuff. Let's switch here. Yeah, I think the number, so the Fibonacci number and the Lucas sequence number might be of uh, help. Okay. There's also a help so... key here. I love October the most with its falling leaves and spooky pumpkins. That's what the cat says. Okay, uh, Which I... Which means October. Wait, let, no, I uh, reduced my volume slightly on my side. Maybe that's helpful. Okay, yes, let us know. Okay. Um... Diary. Tim E, do not open. Okay. Do we need to also do something about all of these houseplants? Yeah. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a few houseplants here. Oh, and what is this? Some schematics? Very data. Okay, so I'm, I'm quickly going to read this book. So it says okay. June 5th, 2022. 7 a.m. Woke up. 8 a.m. Tea time. Tried new biscuits. 9.30 a.m. Worked on the new project. 11 a.m. Brunch time. Potatoes and carrots. 12 p.m. Worked on time machine flux capacitor. Huh. 1.15 p.m. And that's uh, underlined. Mr. Wiggles playtime. And then extra mark my favorite part of the day. So we might have to figure out who of the cats is Mr. Wiggles. So next it's lunchtime. Veggie pizza. 3 p.m. It's worked on my bio scanner. 4.30 p.m. Walk two laps around the lab. 5 p.m. TV time. Watch some shows. 
And the new veggie pizza recipe is baked for 20 minutes. I'm trying to add a bit of ginger at the end. The change of ginger was overwhelming. Homemade yeast worked extraordinarily well. Not really happy with the cheese. Pineapples? More experiments needed. Hmm. Or maybe we have to do a pizza and some stuff with the cats. So Quaid was asking here on the computer screen, Tan, I clicked on the little help button and there was a kitty that came up and talked about October, right? And so okay, he's asking, October? is there a cat that looks related? And I'm thinking well, this the, the plushie. October calendar has the five circled and then an arrow to the 14 that is circled and then an arrow to the one which is circled. So you can take a look over here on the calendar. Okay. And that one you can flip for to the different times of the month, and I think. Oh yeah. Okay. October says one. One five one fourteen. Fort. So basically, it's the order is oh no, let's see, that's not what I wanted to do. The order is five fourteen one. So let's. Yeah. Let's see. Five, fourteen one. Yes, hey! I unlocked. Okay. So it's best you show it because you're on camera. <laughs> All right. So now we got cats in time. Play now. And we have images here. Oh, okay. Click. Oops. Images. Notes. Uh, so notes here, Tan. It says, I have managed to genetically alter some small plants to hold important data in their roots. Now I only need a device to read that data. The 10 reasons why I adore my sweet Mr. Wiggles. One, softest fur ever. Two, best lap warmer. And he only wrote two down. That's interesting. And then there's a table lamp that says regular or infra blue. Infra blue. Infra blue. Okay. Okay, infra blue. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, not infrared. Hey, Slivers! Hi, 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 hi! Okay, so let's press this button here. Oh, no, of the game. So I should probably update. Let me update the stream. So we're doing Escape Simulator now, because I finished the awful, the awfulest. There we go. It has ah, been updated. Okay. Okay, so this has a light bulb and a four digit. Okay. Oh, whoa! Look at this. Chan's like clicking on stuff and opening things. Yeah, I, I clicked the button right next to it. Wow, <laughs> and that broke. door just opened. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got, everybody, so we can kind of take a closer look. This note. All right, let's look at the note. It says, hey, team. I've managed to repair the time machine. I'll be waiting for you in New York in 1921. Don't forget to use the charged batteries. The green one is charged and the red one is empty. P.S. If the time machine doesn't work from the get-go, try it again. The second time it works. Guaranteed. Professor Tim E. Okay, so do we have any batteries around the table? Uh, not that I'm aware of so far, but I will... Okay, and I also know this cabinet here. over here. Oh, thank you, Eva. <laughs> uh, thank you for checking in. I hope you and Spitzka have fun playing Trikerian. Looks like a really oh, so cool game. All right, I don't know. If we need this box for any. So is Eva Spitzka's sister? Yep, they're siblings. Yeah, I, I know that uh, Spitzka and Spitzka's sister, but I didn't know that her name was Eva. Hi, Eva. Yeah. Are you and do, you and Spitzka are doing fine, and I hope you will have a blast playing Tricarion. This it's is Tan, by the way. Game. Tan is on the yeah. chat. <laughs> in the on the it, chat and in the chat. Me. Ooh, a circular device. Oh, 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 Tan, Tan, look at this. Okay, so I flipped this button so over here where the I gas found cans are. A green. You found a big green battery? Battery? No, it's a circular device. Okay. 
Yeah, I flipped this switch right in front of you there, and it turned these over. Now it's a circular okay. device. Okay, and when you rotate the uh, the discs, it's filling the circles in the center. Yeah, so I'm not sure what exactly that means. And yeah, we most likely will have to do... And there's a plug of some kind. There's a locker. This is like a locked box, Tan. I wonder... Do we need a, like, lock picket of some kind? Okay, and the thing is, which I last noted, you mean down, downwards uh, beneath the sink, the one? Yes. I can see there are four different sized knobs, and I think you have to move them in a certain way. Okay. And these, because they have different sizes, the sizes remind me of the sizes of the uh, platforms right here. Uh, oop, yeah. So maybe that has to do something with that. First, we have to. Oh, okay. And then we are uh, maybe we have to fill these first to yellow because the knobs are yellow in the inside. Yeah, that's good. And they're all going counterclockwise. So okay, let's so let's try, try to with move... the Which... second to smallest one first. Okay. Do a full rotation. Okay. And then the largest one. Okay. The yes. smallest one. And then the final. Let's see. And finally the second largest one. Uh, that did not do anything. Okay. I was afraid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's okay. Maybe we have to figure out well, there's a special extra thing. We need to find. Maybe you have to place this. Take There's a look a at the circular here. device. Hmm. Oh, oh! Uh -oh. The circular device has a, had. Like, I place it on the desk so you can take a look yourself. So this circular device I had a button on the top, and I pressed that one, and then the uh, the uh, the white pie things happen so which tells oh, us the, okay the second largest one is three quarters filled i see go ahead what's the smallest one is how the many smallest one is completely filled okay largest one the largest one is only one quarter only one quarter okay and now the the next and then the final one is three quarters Okay, so could we please... Yeah, let's double check this. So it's... Three... One... Let's take another look at it. Completely Hi, Ki filled. Kit oh, Cap. Thank you for the work, Lurk. This one is half filled. Hey! What is that thing? No specimen detected. So, okay, you can see... Wait, let's take this gasoline and place it... At it's, 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 oh wait, this has a. No, it's oh a, no, he talked okay. about oh, the plants, right, Tan? He talked about the plant. Yeah, roots. because the plants, the plants. When you take a look and pick up one and take a look at the bottom, you can see that they have the same symbol showing on the bottom of the pot as this machine shows on the slot for the specimen. Okay. So we might need to oh. uh, go ahead close those there. And then maybe need something to move the disc at the bottom. So that might be a thing. No specimen detected. Okay. So we have, I saw three well, four house plants. If we're including this one on the bottom, right, Tan, on the floor, four house yeah, but plants. But the one on the bottom can only be dragged, so it's not a small pot plant. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Ah, I was trying to put it on the table and I knocked over the lamp. Dang it! Dang it! Chaos and destruction okay, comes from says me. Invalid specimen. Okay. Let's... Oh, come on now. Oh, 
Oh, this one plant shows three, one, two, six as its roots. Okay. Can take a look at it. What did I say? Three, zero, two, six. Let's see if that's here. Three, zero, two, six. Hmm. Where are you nope, putting that's that in? Not the case. Nope. Okay. What did the didn't the computer say something about about the numbers, Tan? Yeah, I said that. Wait, what did it say? Just a second. Oh, table lamp. I set the table lamp to infra blue. Okay, so let's see. I have managed to genetically alter some small plants to hold important data in their roots. Now only the device to read that data. So that's basically that one by the side. Oh, okay. Can you take a look at the uh, the chalkboard? Because I changed the lamp to in, uh, infra blue. Yes, and it says, says six. six. Yeah. So maybe moving the lamp will give us some extra data. Okay. Because uh, the when you take a look at the uh, lock on the on the where you're right currently looking at yes I'm I'm snapping when you take a look at the lock get a closer microphone yeah you what are we that thinking it shows the lamp okay which means we most likely need four numbers from the lamp the ultra blue lamp yeah so we know at least one of them is a six then but we're not sure what order correct. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming the order will be depending on the order on the on the chalkboard. Oh, I see. So do we think so not the number from the plants? Because the number from the plants I'm assuming is for something else. Six oh look at this, Tan. Ready? Six. Then two. Then five. And then five. Six two. Six two five five? Correct. Okay. Yep, that was the correct one. Oh. Oh, okay. great. Server to... <laughs> great, more buttons! <laughs> buttons, buttons, buttons. So... All of these Okay, we need okay. to find the pattern, it seems. Okay, there's also a lock down here, Tan. Oh, okay. Let's see what that one says. And this one shows the plant. <laughs> okay, 3026. Oh, gosh, good memory. Nice. What do we got in here? Paint! And Even the green, more paint. And the green battery. Uh, and the green battery. Okay, let's see. Okay, take what did he say about the green battery? The note again says. Uh, the green one is charged. The red one is empty. If the time machine doesn't work from the get-go, try it again. The second time, it works. Guaranteed. Okay, so that tells me we have to do the time machine twice. Wherever the time machine is. And I'm assuming it's somewhere here because it's a sync chip missing. So maybe it's the, the big one. Okay. And then we have green paint. You have the green paint now. Yeah, I have now a total of five cans of green paint. Oh, goodness. Okay. Do we have five cats? Yes, we do have five cats. I have one. I'll move it back over here. So... It seems like, do we need to put them in the green paint somehow, Dan? Maybe, I'm not sure yet. So the another thing it is asked, 10 reasons why I draw my sweet Mr. Wiggles. He has the softest forever and he's the best lap warmer. So which of the cats has the softest fur and is the best lap warmer? <laughs> yeah, Because I'm pretty we sure that that's another thing and I'm still not sure. So we have this temperature right here which uses a, says Fibonacci home systems. Yeah. Which we might need the Fibonacci number which I think the magic the magic uh, the book magic of numbers might give us a clue on uh, which numbers to set. Okay. 
Because uh, so that's what I said. What I thought was the right amount, and it seems not to be the case. <laughs> Oh, 83.4, that's what the book said, Tan? No, it's, uh, it, when you take a look at the mat, uh, maths book, which is right next to the computer yeah. on the desk, you know, take, pick it up, and then you click it. Yeah. And you can see on the left, it says the Fibonacci sequence, and you can see there are two uh, numbers missing, A and B. Right. And A should be 8. And B should be 34. Because in a Fibonacci sequence, a number is the sum of its pre two predecessors. Right. Oh, but look, Tan, it says according to the Fibonacci sequence numbers, B comes before A. So. Oh, okay, so then it's. 34. Uh, point, wait. 34.8. 34.8, yeah, okay. See, that's something I did not. Thirty-four point eight. Hey, we got water now, Tan. Nice. So it's hot water. Oh, and look above it. The uh, the four knobs glow. Oh, interesting. So, do we need to put the cabinet knobs in that orientation? So basically, you're saying that. It's like moving them all to the outsides or except, yeah, the outside far corners, possibly. No. Yeah, maybe, maybe it might be something. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to look at this, these paint cans here. Quick drying. Keep away from children and animals. Okay. Yeah, we know that cats like to drink pa uh, drink paint since yesterday's stream, don't we? <laughs> yeah. At least paint water. <laughs> uh, okay. Any luck on that cabinet, Tan? Uh, no. Okay. I'm still not sure how to... Because it's, yeah, I would say it's the smallest one is in the top left. And that should be the case. Hmm. Okay. So. It's yeah, if anyone always... in the chat has thoughts, we're always open yeah. for extra brains, people. You're always welcome. And all of these tires. Okay, there's just like tires and plugs and. Okay, what is this? Hmm. Mm. Oh. Wait. I pressed something on the clock. Not sure what it's trying to tell me, to be honest. I think we need that for another time. The clock, also, huh? let's take a quick look at the Lucas sequence. Using safe combinations. Okay, so that means, looks like between 11 and 12, 12 and 1, between 5 and 6, and 8 and 9, okay. Oh, there's a clock here, where we can move the... Oh, I thought that was a scale, that's interesting, okay. So that might have to do something with... Yeah, because that's not working now. That should not be the thing. I'm thinking... I'm thinking our this cabinet is our next... 
thing, Tan. Yeah, so do I. At least that's the most likely one. Because I'm not sure if there is any other... Um... Lock where it's telling us to use the... Mm hmm Okay. Fibonacci sequence. Mr. Wiggles Pie Oh, there's a locker we need, so there needs hmm. extra battery storage. Interesting. Okay, so there needs to be a key to unlock the locker. Could you maybe uh, place the um, the battery somewhere so that I can take a look at it? Yep. Let's see. Thanks. Okay. Uh, don't know. Time to see both capacitor. Walk two laps Because there, with these rods, that could be a sort of thing to do with the clock. So maybe that's a thing. Crowbar? That's not telling me anything, so that might not be. Look at the. Okay. As this is an official room, it has a closed system, so we might be willing to take a clue, but uh, from, let's put it that way, from experience, those clues might not be as helpful as one hopes. Okay, <laughs> do you want to, should we ask for one? We can ask for one. We could try at least yep. one, at one clue, huh? Yep. So I just press the clue button here? Yes. Worst case, it's not uh, still not uh, slot sensitive. So, oh yeah, see that might be a thing. Simply. Yeah, it's just showing us that the lights on above the sink match the cabinet knobs. Yeah, that's something we are already aware. We're already of. aware of. See, I'll put it over here, Tan, next to the sink, so you yeah, can see so it. You can read it. Again, it's... There we go. And it should be, the small one should be in. Because the small one is the one. Yeah, I mean, that's what it's showing me. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Light bulb! Light bulb! Yeah, stupid me. I, uh, the, the... I uh, mixed up the second, uh, uh, the the top left and the bottom right. Uh, oh, top left okay. And bottom right, uh, top right and bottom right, and they have been inverted. So that's good job. Good oh, job, Tan. Oh, this Dan. is the safe door. Okay, now we need the Lucas combination. Oh, which from is the also book of the magic. Mathematics book. Okay. Lucas sequence. Okay, so the sequence we have is two okay the lucas series has the same recursive relationship as the fibonacci sequence where each term is the sum of the two previous terms but with different starting values so the first it says two then a one then a three then x so the x should be four okay and then seven, three. which is correct. So three plus four is seven. And then Y, which would mean it's 11. Yeah. Then I 18. Agree. So seven and 11 is 18. 
And then Z, yes. which would be 11 plus 18 is 29. And then it would continue on that. It says, Lucas numbers are often used in safe combinations. The order of the safe combinations isn't important. Just the correct digits X, Y, Z in any order. So okay, we said so we the... 4, 11, and 29. And 29. Yep, that's it. We okay. got a key, which most likely is helping us to open the lockbox. And another spray can with black color. Okay. Well, let's grab the... What does the lockbox do? Yeah. So I'll place the key right next to the lockbox. You are welcome to open it. Because you are the person on the stream, so it should be Hey, you, so and then look at that, Tan. We've got, looks like, another battery. Uh, the red one, it seems. But it's cut, it's in blue. That's why it's so diff, that's, that's interesting. Is it blue? Because I think it's the, uh, the, the, the center rings. Because considering the, the yeah, green I'll show one. Yeah, i you, I'll put it over here. Oh, no, yeah, I see, I see. They're both basically looking virtually the same. <laughs> Yeah. So which is which? Which is red and which is blue? And which one does needs to be charged, right? Yeah, there was one, I think. The next thing is where to place them. <laughs> yeah, the server the is much more interesting. Okay. Okay, is it just me, Tan, or does these, does this server look like a bunch of uh, dice to you? Yes, at least with the exception of the bottom left one, because that's not a typical. Oh, with the squares missing. No, the squares is one because it's squares, and the other one, the one left to the squares. Because, oh, uh, correct. Yeah. That's normally not any pattern you could see on the pips of a regular six sided die. So maybe that's the. Hmm. But we would also have two halves of a five, or multiple parts of a five, to be honest. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So All right. Also saying server desynchronized, so we might need some. So let's see. The sync chip is missing, so I need to. Do we have any? Do we have any computer chips? Not that I think of. Okay. Okay. Then so we say. Sure what is turning? So there needs to be a clue with a cat. That's pretty sure another clue because that's basically telling us. That be, uh, or it would not most likely not be on the. Let's play some stuff. Like okay. That. I think I think we might need to open some of these paint cans, Tan. I think that might be next. Okay, so maybe. Oh wait, maybe use the crowbar on uh, on them. I think so the maybe, crowbar or, or maybe just a screwdriver. What do you think? Yeah, let's I pick the crowbar and you can go ahead and try if it's working with one of those over there. Nope, I didn't do anything. I also do not think because it's not. Uh, maybe we shall see. Wait, let me pick one of those. And there's also the Allen key, which is interesting to know. So the other thing is, do we have no. some screws anywhere where we think we might be able to unscrew something? That's another interesting. Uh, we we have bolts. Yeah. We have nuts and bolts. We have nuts and bolts, but not. And we have a hammer. Okay, let's. Um... Are you gonna smash it with a hammer? I was thinking maybe something is hidden on the hammer. Let's have some some nails. Let me do this over here. Hammer. Nope. Okay. Nope. 
Okay. So, I'm also noticing You to... have the note in regards to the batteries, don't you? Yes, here. I'll put it down on next to the desk here. And I'm going to take a look at this. Maybe I can. In New York in 1921. Oh, what is in this basket? Oh, I got to move this it's box It's the, out of the way. Uh, lock that was on the... Hello, Raider! Hey, Brambeard! Welcome, welcome, welcome in! <laughs> Hello, Marky Mark! Brambeard. Welcome in, everyone! I'm Jess. I am joined on audio by the wonderful Tantaralis, and uh, we are doing an escape room simulator called Cats in Time. Uh, thank you so much for the raid, everyone! Um, Phantom, can I get a shout out to Bram, please? Richmond, TJ, Marky Mark, hope all of you are doing well. Happy Friday to ya. Oh, that was the lock. Okay, I see what you're saying. Um, so did we finish? We finished this. Okay, so the circular devices underneath we have finished. Okay. Yeah, so the things which we're currently not sure what to use for is the clock. With the segments. Not sure what that's going to be used for. We have the uh, the clock. Okay. The uh, special clock where we can move the fingers. So maybe that's the 1921. Not sure. That's that's uh, highly. Let's, let's see. It's 19. Is seven. I also see under this cabinet here, Tan, where the plant is, that there's a oh. fan. And it looks yes, like and a the... secret piece of some kind. Yeah. Okay, exactly. You can pick this. These are the uh, the, uh, the hidden emblems. You can collect a certain number in each level. They are basically hidden tokens not needed to solve the, the puzzles. So maybe we need are to we find thinking? a way to stop those because currently I cannot pick it up. So it might be that it's somewhat locked because the uh, rotor is moving. Okay. And there is another one of those. If I'm, oh, no, there are multiple of those. Okay, Server so. is desynced. Okay. Are we thinking, Tan, hear me out. Are we thinking this door here corresponds to the lights that need to be illuminated here in the locker? Oh, that might be a good idea. Because okay. you can see there is exactly three squares. One is uh, orangey and two with red because when you click those, they are turning into red ones. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. So we, okay, so this means the top left one would be this over here. Uh huh. The next one is that triangle this. looking one. Exactly. This one is the. Should be this one. Oh, is yeah. it? That's the big question. Because... Okay, this one should be this one. But where's the square? Oh, wait. Yeah, okay, this is the two, which means this should be this one. And we have a square, which is... Hey, did that do a thing? That did a thing. Yes, that did a thing. You did it. You and we got were the smarter than me. Chip in you there. You saw the pattern. Two, two brains are better than one when it comes to these things, Tan. Okay, so now we have a yeah. chip. This chip server this... is synced. Okay. Unless so... one of those brains is in a jar because that's not working as a proper brain. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the server is synced. Now, now what is next? Oh, look, Tan, we opened the door. Oh, we unweighed the flux capacitor. Yeah. So we need to place some batteries here, it seems. Okay, that looks like it's and three three openings for batteries. I'm assuming so. So maybe we need some more. We have two. Okay, what other things think, have yes. we not opened yet? So, 
What other things have we not Let's opened grab yet? Those batteries and see if they fit. Okay. So this one fits. Okay, so we need a third battery then, huh? Yeah, that might be the case. Either that or there's something. So let's think about it. So maybe this one still. I'm not sure if the, that clock and the other clock has something to do with each other. And what's with the lab warmer cat? Okay, so we're seeing one to five. Between one and five is yellow. Between six and eight is yellow. So and maybe between with nine and eleven those, is yellow. Because those fingers are not stopping directly in the center of the clock. Yeah. Maybe we can use these as four, di uh, four different dividers. So that it's creating this type of segmentation. Okay. I'm gonna let you work on that clock there, Tan. Could you, uh, did you place the clock somewhere? I need to place oh, it next to Oh, <laughs> I so still have I it on my person. Pot Sorry. Potentially <laughs> take a look at it while I'm trying to solve There you go. <laughs> okay, so in this case, I'm not sure that that's possible with these things. That's basically tiles. I don't need to take a look at this one and make, need to make myself a sketch. Hmm. Hey, Time Roller, welcome in. This should be... So we gotta activate, we gotta activate this flux, flux capacitor. And we need another battery, friends. So right here, we've got two batteries already and we need a third one. So that's our goal for the moment. And I'm thinking our last puzzle, our last piece of the pie is uh, this clock over here. So we've pretty much done everything else. Except for the paint cans, which I'm not sure exactly what the paint cans would be doing. Yeah, neither with the spray paint cans, but that might be a... Do you have the other... No, the book is Diary. Yes, maybe? I do. Could you take a look if there's something special that could be a, give a clue with... Oh, favorite time of the day. Favorite time of the day. Favorite time of the day is 1.15 p.m. Mr. Wiggles Playtime. 1.15? Yep. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ah, interesting. Okay, let's see. Okay, so... Oh, we have to match second. it like the clock, I think. Yeah, we have, basically, yeah, exactly. So I think Got it. Be... Wait a second. I need to... Oh, does it does it turn off a certain segment? It inverts them. It seems like a certain thing. I need to see. Wait, that's not the one. I, that's what I wanted to be. Hey, what did we get? A third battery. Perfect. The next battery. I place it here. You have the honors. All right. Let's go place this duder in the thing. It is now online, Tan. Okay, so maybe, and he said we meet in New York in 1921, correct? Yes, you have the note on now. The note. No, I, I placed it on the table. New York in 1921. Okay. 
if the time machine doesn't work from the get-go, try it again the second time it works. So. Okay, so it is set for 1921. Yep. So I'll push the red button. Oh, things are happening. Oh, wiggly wobbly tiny wimey. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. I, it seems that we need to biocharge now the battery. Oh, wow. We are in a, kind of a different different room. <laughs> this is pretty cool. So this is like part two, it looks like, huh, Tan? Yeah. So I think we need to recharge the batteries. Okay. How do we do that? And it's as it's a biocharger, so it might mean that we need to... Plant power? Uh, yeah, exactly. Plants, and let's place, so let, we need to place, I'm assuming, a battery right here. And then we need to find those different types of plants. Okay, I'll show everybody on screen what we're looking at. So it's going to extract some leaves, some stems, yeah, some you can roots, see with and the the one, charge two, it. Three, you can see okay. which, which plants it might be. So we might need to, uh, once again... Take a look at the plants in the bioscanner. In the bioscanner. And see which of those is which. Invalid specimen, it says. Yeah, that's because that's not the one with the numbers underneath it. So I'm assuming, because that used to be the case. Oh, okay. Oh. So we need to match it as in the image, you think, Tan? Interesting. Why? Oh, wait, do we place the plants? Oh, tablet. So let's take a look. Electromagnetic potential of plants. Machius purifolia. Machius purifolia was incredibly complex roots. If one was to stretch them evenly, they would run for three miles straight. However, it is not in its roots that we found the biggest electromagnetic potential. In its, it's in its stem. Petilia sabinus has circular shaped leaves. However, upon closer inspection, the malformation in the leaves as well as the variations in the leaf shapes become obvious. It derives most of its potential in its roots. And Vine Curio has only circular shaped leaves. I've observed some sparks going around then. I'm yet to examine this one closely, but I think that is where the EM comes from. So let's place this one here. Do so we, we have to place it inside here, Tim? In the actual bio? Oh, okay. I think we need to place it somewhere in the... Uh, down here in this one. Okay. So which one? And for each of those plants, we need to find which plant it is, and if you need the leaves, the stem, or the roots. Are we thinking the small potted plants, or are we thinking the ones that were on the floor? Do we have la uh, three large potted plants? That's the other question. I see question. two. I only see two. Oh, wait, there's a painting. Interesting, with the key. Franklin's kite experiment. With a key right next to the... Oh, wait, there is... More things. We have a key and we have a golden mirror. So let's place this stuff okay. right here. So I think the mirror is belonging right next to the other mirror. We have a light prism and a lever. Okay, so which means... We... Okay. I don't think I'm supposed to put the potted, these big potted plants in there, Chan. I don't think. I also don't think. We have three small potted plants, but they are all looking like succulents. Hmm. More okay. or less. So I don't think those are the ones we're looking for. Oh, wait. Why did I place the key? This is where I placed the key. Okay, now we have a kite. Interesting. So just in case for you to know what I did, I found that there was some stuff hiding next to the Whoa. to the painting of Franklin's kite, a key, and one of those two mirrors. Wow! And then placed the second mirror, opened, uh, used the lever, 
and moved the prism in a way, so now these, that seems to be maybe, oh, maybe it's... Now we have clear skies on that side That's instead of raining. One battery we have charged. Whoa. So I think we have three different things, uh, three different stations for the batteries tonight. Okay. So now we need to place the kite. So I placed the kite somewhere. Where did I place the kite? So because it says the kite and the key, so maybe we need to find a way to let the kite go out of the window. Let me see if that's going to work. Oh yeah, okay. Oh gosh, wow! And that should be battery number two. So now we Very need to nice. find the solution for the plants. Oh, just a second. Okay. There's another token hidden. So, have we tried putting any of the house plants in there just to test? Let's, let's see if that's actually. Oh, or maybe just a second. Maybe you do not need those plants. So, can you take a look at the um, the tablet and tell me for which of the plants the it's telling me to uh, so each of those. It's telling us to do a certain. Oh, thing I think you. Where did you? Oh, there's a tablet. Got it. Let's see. The tablet's on the left, right next. Yeah. Okay. Um. Which one are you asking for, Tan? Basically, start from the top to the bottom. So let's start with Marcus Pyrofolia. Okay. Uh, so the Macius Pyrofolia has incredibly complex roots. If one was to stretch them evenly, they would run for three miles straight. However, it is not in its roots that we found the biggest EM potential. It is in its stem. Okay, so I'm thinking that's... If you take a look at the biocharger quickly. Okay. So everybody can see. So you can see we have, so now how this works. We have three different plants. One, two, three. And for each of them, we can basically decide if we want to extract leaf, stem, and root. So oh, I, I see. So what I currently think is that this is the Amakis purifolia, because it has the most complex roots of those three, because of all the spirally roots. But it says we need to extract the stem. Correct. So next we need to find, I think, the second one. Okay, so the tablet. Just the one that seems to have the... Tablet, Petilia sabinus. Petilia sabinus has the circular shaped leaves. However, upon closer inspection, the malformations in the leaves as well as the variations of the leaf shapes become obvious. It derives most of its potential in its roots. Okay, so from this one we want to extract the roots. That's great. So which leaves us with the third one? Which will so want this is uh, so this should roots. be the which one we had just now. That would be the root. So let's double check. And that's where we had. Yeah. Double and check. That should leave us with the leaves from the last one. Then K. So we've got stem root, and then this one would be leaves. Uh, then K yeah, Curio the... has the only circular shaped leaves. I have yet to observe some sparks going on around them. I am yet to examine this one closely, but I think that is where the EM comes from. The only one that has circular shaped. Oh, did that work? Yes, it did. There we so go. So now we have three batteries again. And we can pick those and... All right, let's place them. do this one here. Oh, I have to press the button. Oh, we need to go to... Where are we going and now? It's going to be wibbly wobbly. Yay, we did it! Good job, Tim. So we Tan. didn't finish it in time. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. But we finished uh, and we it. We only found five out of eight tokens. From one, we know where it was uh, when it didn't interact. So yeah. Nonetheless, I like this room, to be honest. Yeah, that one was that one was not too challenging, but it was good. 
Good job, Tan. Only sad that we did not need to use the cats for a, for a puzzle. I know, the cats were just a ruse. Cats were just a ruse. And the paint. The, the cats have been playing with us all the time. All the time. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, maybe you can find the remaining tokens, so maybe this I was able on. to grab one, at least. Oh, there's another token. I'm not token. sure why that one is not working. There, yeah, there, are, uh, there are ghost tokens, basically. The ones that we already have been picking are now available again. I see. And I'm still wondering why that one right next to the ventilator does not work. But yeah. yeah, interesting. That's always a nice thing in addition, but the more important thing is that one was able to solve the puzzles. Yep, very true. And true. if stupid me... No, that's not some kind of self-shame or self-dunking. I had not mixed up two of those uh, extra of these knobs down here. We were, uh, wouldn't even have used a single clue. That's okay. I mean, I'd much rather have a clue and have it be something that we already knew than like, oh yeah, we already have that information. Yeah, this one was fun. This one was fun. Cool. And so, Tan, let's go back to the homepage and show... Um, I think you have to escape from this room now. There we go. Uh, to see what the um, other options are. That you have... Um, do you have time to do to do uh, one more, Tan, or do you need to go? I would be absolutely up for another one. Okay, uh, you could. you can choose you can choose the next one because that was. Uh, yeah, but, okay. I, I need to think which ones I have not played yet. To be honest. <laughs> yeah, this one is really so you cool. Said you, you, okay, so I've played all the Egyptian ones, so that's not really fun if I because I most likely will remember most of it. Uh huh. Uh, I have, as it seems, played three uh, the first three of the space ones. Okay. So we could play one of these. From the mansion, I've only played the first, but I think you've played another one of those. Uh, I didn't... It, we, we started the library, but we didn't finish it, so... Um, yeah, okay, I'd be so up for space or the mansion, that's fine. Let's see, the I, mean, I think I'm more... So wait, maybe chat, let us know, chat, if you would prefer a, a, a space-themed one next, or one which is slightly more like a yeah. Victorian-aged, 1920s or time of Victorian um, mansion. And now we're going to pick one of those. Yeah, I like... I liked it that you can, I think it helped definitely having both of us there, especially when we were, when, when you were first doing these on your, <laughs> your stream tan, and it was like a delay of me, like typing things in, like, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, check yeah, over yeah, here yeah, and yeah. do this other thing. <laughs> it's, um, it's great that you can play most of these rooms good by yourself because most of, especially the, um, community rooms are really straightforward linear puzzles with, Basically, every uh, have to solve one puzzle after the next. Yeah. While, for example, in this room, we have, for the recharging of the batteries, we have we had three different puzzles, and basically three different people each could work on one of those puzzles. Yeah. Which is great because that's how a good real life escape room is has to be. Right. So that everybody can work on different things, keep everybody engaged. Yeah. Very true, very true. And uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I really like the steampunk ones. I did those with some friends for my last year for my digital birthday celebration. And some of those, especially the final one of the steampunk DLC is a room which I said, this one I would have loved to play it as a real escape room. Yeah. All right, let's go to space, Tan. Let's go to space. Space? Okay, so let's start with the... Should we do the decompression chamber or the spacewalk? Uh, spacewalk. Space would be the 
spacewalk would be normally the last one in the series, but that's not. okay. In my friends. You should have an invite. Okay. Cool. Oh. We are in spacesuits. Space. The final frontier. I'm so hyped. I think next week, third season of Pikai starting. Yes, and then and in March so is Strange New... New Worlds, right? Yeah, that's not in Germany. <laughs> Pretty sure that it will not air uh, at the same time. Uh, what should I say? It will not release on the German Paramount Plus uh, at the same time as it does in the US. Hmm, that's a bummer. I... Okay, so our fuel tank monitor tan says, Warning, primary tank sensor is down. Enter tank stat status manually. Second sensor readings are available on the hatch control unit. And here's the hatch control unit. The crane is operational. Engines power E1 and E2 are f false, which probably means that they're not working properly. Fuel is E1 and E2, and batteries are E1 and E2. Okay. Crane control unit here. What do we got here? Battery and our engine. Oh, we can view from different cameras here. So we can operate the crane above. Okay, so the right, the right one I rewired, which now should be working. <laughs> this one is for... The crane. Okay, so let's see. Taking a look, for example, to the on the... The left re rewiring that needs to that's the one that needs some fixing huh oh this moves the crane i gotta move the crane aha there we go so i gotta put the battery in here there we go and then I gotta move this crane. Whoa, too far, Jess, too far. So now I have this battery. Where do we need to charge it? Just a second, I think I need to rewire them first. Oh, okay. Display failure, let's see. This is so cool. We're in space, Stan. We're in space. Is that the sun? Oh, no. <laughs> and our fuel tank monitor does not look like it's functioning right now. Let's take a look. So it's... Our crane is operational. Blue, red, yellow, green. Blue, red, yellow, green. Okay, so Tan's fixing that one. I'm trying. <laughs> right. Oh, there's there's letters on the ground too, Tan. What does this say? Let's see what this says. Note for the captain. We didn't have luck replacing this used keypad. We will replace it with a new one when we get back to the base. Also, just a reminder, the keypad still accepts passwords only in ascending order. Will, Chief Engineer. Okay. We turn! Yeah. <laughs> okay, did that one get fixed now too, Tan? Okay. I... Yeah, it still says failure, but it's... Oh, because that other battery... I need to put the other battery back in. But that's not charged, so that might not... That battery's not charged, yeah. Should I... Enough, so we might need to charge it first. Yeah, how do we... How do we charge the battery, then? 
Okay, it also says fuel E1, E2. Okay, so it seems that the left one is not correctly triggered because it also says, still says four. So there might be a clue how to wire the left one. So let's take a look. So, so do I need to pull this other battery out, you think, Tan? From the engine? Not sure yet. So I found, so there's this one tablet in one of those drawers. It has a... Uh, a, a note on the back side with, uh, I, I'm assuming it's supposed to be numbers 1, 5, 3, and 1. Okay. And it says, use this on the second one. Hmm. Yeah. And it also has the hatch lock system schematics on the main display. So I'm not sure if, well, if slash where we're going to need to use this. So I'm going to place this on the floor for now. Oh, wait, see the hatches. Can you take a look at the floor? Yep. You're currently standing right on the A. Yeah. The A marks the spot. Hold on, I'm, I'm putting this battery back. Okay. I am currently standing on A. Can you take a look at the floor? Yeah, you were standing correctly on A. So the that's the hatch lock system. It shows A, B, C, D. Yeah. And it's most likely showing us later we can you see there are these red... Uh, lock symbols and we might need to unlock those somehow okay oh yeah and that's what the tablet's showing yeah and then we can most likely somehow reroute the energy mm, so currently okay. I was able to so for example let's take a look at the A let's take a quick look at A Because basically A is telling us, oh, okay, so from hatch number two, which is, it needs to be routed to four, which is great because I do not see a four. Some slots allow you to rotate them. Oh, so you can move, rotate. Okay. So where are you putting... So, for example, I placed those right here. I'm not okay. sure if that's what it's supposed to be because let's again take a look at the hatch thing. I'm not sure where the connection to four is actually happening. Four looks like it's hatch two that goes into C. Hmm. Okay, but I think that's not, uh, we need to work towards this because we need to unlock the other two corners, very likely. Yeah. Okay. So, are we... Oh, so the other two, so we need to open, so hatch C is open. Yes, A and C, both hatches are open and we can take the... Uh, the pipe segments and place them. Yeah, okay. And that creates some rerouting. So it looks like we need to reroute from A down to C according to the tablet, correct? Is that how I'm reading it? And I think it's not from A to C. It's telling us from the hatches. We need to trans have a, a routing from the hatches to the letters and also to uh, numbers on the outer perimeter, which I'm currently so not I sure did... where these numbers come Oh, from. I see. Let me do this. Can I do this? Oh, let me see. I still need to... I don't know if that did anything. I don't think that did anything. Not for the captain, we know. Yes, in this used keeper. Okay, an ascending order. So then let's take another. Can you quickly turn around the, um, the notepad you have? Uh, the tablet on the back side, there's the note. And I would like to have the numbers once again, especially uh, in ascending order, if possible. Ascending? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. See, that's okay. That's 1135. One, 1135. One, nope. 
that's not okay. No, that's one. Use one, this on one. the second one. It says. Okay. Interesting. It's exactly the one that I was able to use. Oh, we have some more pipes we could use. Cool. Okay. We have a a, a, a straight a T intersection and a curved pipe. So what I'm what I'm not sure about Tan is Railroad which... ink in space. <laughs> yeah. What is considered what is considered the piping duct and what is considered the actual hatch? So I think the hatch is Is the nine openings? Four panels is the nine openings. That should be the hatch. Okay. And then the I'm, and then I'm the fairly sure about that. Not one hundred percent, but Okay, yeah, sure. because if we look at the tablet, here, let me put the tablet, I'll put the tablet down so we can both see it. If we look at the tablet, there's one, two, three. Okay, that's hatch two, that's hatch two. Yeah, so that seems... Ducks in space. Yeah, exactly right, Dan. So I just dropped as a battery here. <laughs> oh, oh, how did you get that battery? Did you use the crane? I, I used the crane and moved it all towards us. <laughs> so let's take a look. So we have a defect. That's one with a defect status. So maybe we need to fix that. Okay, so it looks like here... What is this? Does this piping need to go? Do we need to have this T pipe go towards this outer to the outer hatch? Okay, okay. And you have the T shapes. Let's do this. Let's do this. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's do this. And we're going to rotate. Nope, nope. I don't want this. I want to rotate this. And then I want another single, single straight piece to go here. Okay. And then, so the schematics, oh, good gravy. Schematics, Tan. We have schematics, Tan. Why? Okay, so it says 1 through 10. I'm wondering what does that what does that entail? What are they talking about when it says 1 through 10? Yeah, that's another question that I'm not sure what it's trying to tell us. Okay. I'm assuming that somewhere down the uh that it's basically starting let's say that one will be the the leftmost segment. One, two, three. Then we have four for the the longer ones, and then uh, the last ones should be uh, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah. So okay. that's what I'm assuming. Which potentially means that hatch number two needs to be connected to number four, which will be. Uh, let's put it like this up here. I'm not sure if you can. Yeah, basically, right. Right here where I'm currently standing with my right foot. Yeah. It should be potentially number four. Okay. In the first row. Because we have rows and columns. So the first row is this one, the top one. The second row, the third row. Okay, so do we need fourth. to move these up, you're saying? No, because I'm, uh, I'm currently not sure how we are able to connect it to the... Oh, yeah, because we might need to... At least, now let move it up because it comes from the side. That's another thing which is making me wondering what's going to happen. So maybe it tells us that we need to connect from. Oh, pipe duct. No, no, it's not. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Still not sure. I could maybe maybe you could try to uh, take a look at the defunct part of the battery if you have any idea if uh, how to fix it or okay. if there's a thing that you have with you or saw that it might be needed to be used in it. Let's see status. Okay, so it looks like 
There is some other piece. Is there some other piece that we have to slide? Yeah, that's what I also think, but I, I can't remember if there is anyone anywhere around. Okay. Okay. That seems... If we did... So I think you're right, Tan. I think we did that. Now what happened is I need to swap this out, actually. This needs to go here. And this needs to go here. And... This goes here. And this... I think goes here. I think. <sighs> Trying to go from the broken pipes here. Mm. All right. Uh, look at hatch A, Tan, and tell me. Just a second. I need to move the. The giant Actually, battery out of the way. Slightly out of the way because it's slightly, turning... slightly out of the way. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure if they will be able to return that somewhere. I'm still trying to figure out the PS wire connector. Okay, so if that's three. basically. It's telling me that's okay, so we need to fill that. Oh, did I need to remove this one? Just a second. Let's see if I can pick this one. Okay, hold on. Let's see. So three... Three and four go there. Okay, okay, okay. Guess I'm not sure there needs to be. Okay, do we have other, we have another elbow piece. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, did I miss all these pieces there? No, I'm not sure. Yeah, there has to be... Okay, so I'm thinking, Tan, with these two here, there are... Right below where it says warning exit hatch, it looks like two out of the three pipes are complete, correct? So that leads me to think that there must be a way that two of them continue and one goes here to the display or to this, whatever this thing is, the battery, I guess. I don't know. Hatch A. I feel like Hatch A has two, um, needs two routes. And right now I yeah, only have one is, route. You, maybe take a look at the uh, display on here on the left side. Okay. And interact with it. And when you press grid, you have A, B, C, D, and one up to zero up to nine. Maybe yeah. there, we need some that has something to do with unlocking hatches, maybe. Okay. So maybe let's make C. Okay, it's not working. So that's one of the things. And the other, I need quickly to take another. I need to make a quick sketch from the. Did it say engines? Section. Engines are operational now too. Well, just a second. Engines E one and E two are correct. Yeah. Okay. So we need to. I, I'm currently trying to figure the fuel thing and the batteries we might also need to find something, but I'm 
right. sense in it. The fuel sensor. So a total of 12, which means this should be 6. This would be 3, so that should... Okay, let's see. Okay, and now coming back to... Okay, so we yeah. have 6. And we need the other 2. We So it's at least 1, so let's make this 2 and... Four, or it's two and four, right? Five. We have four and two. Okay, fuel uh -oh, monitor. What happened? I was able to fix the fuel monitor. Or set the fuel expect ratio to the proper. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Okay, now... Now it tells us we need to... can see now maybe that there seems to be now fuel running from the left side from the fuel tank okay where is it did i i must have routed it then no the thing no. is I, I activated the fuel tank monitor okay so now you oh, can see so that see. it's this slightly bluish which now is the issue that we need somehow to unlock Patch B, B because else we cannot Route our fuel. Yeah, that's at least what I'm currently thinking might be the issue. Okay, how do we unlock B? So is there something about B? It's telling me hatch. So B is only connected to the four. So it's maybe B04. Let me quickly take a check. Grid B04. Okay, B was unlocked. And D is the other one, which uh, uh, is hatch three, and D is... Oh, that's much more tricky because D is... Oh no, it's six, so it's baby six, D six. D, oh, six. No, that's not the case. Okay. D. 10. Okay, wait. Oops. So B led to 4. Oh no, that's down here, which is 6. E should be 6. Down here, D. Oh, six. Nope. Okay. I'll quickly drop it. Maybe you can tell me which. What do you think? Which is the correct combination for? For the hatch. Now. Okay. Um. Oh, you tried. You tried. Th D. Okay. What did you? You, you did B zero one for B. Uh, I, to, uh, to be honest, I forgot. <laughs> but B is showing a, uh, an arrow to 10, correct? Well, let me take a quick B, so Oh, B, B is wants... showing arrows. Uh, there's no arrows away from... It's One is leading to t B. Okay, no, B, uh, hatch. No, sorry, um, the hatch closest to B, which is hatch 1. Correct. It's showing to 0, 4. Correct. And the other one, which is closest to D, is showing towards zero six. Correct. Zero six. Yes. So why does D zero six not work? I also see the piping duct also to zero eight, but I'm not. Hmm. 
Yeah, that I'm not sure, Tan. Hmm. Ducks in space? No, not currently a chess and iron space. Okay, so we've got fuel there, fuel there. Fuel needs to go here. Take a look. Um. Okay. Oh. Okay, I routed I routed fuel to E2. But now I am not sure how to get D Okay, so fuel to D. Fuel now is saying us it's correct, so we need batteries. We need now to fix battery. Okay. Which is I think currently in, in your inventory the part which we, where we need to yeah. somehow find a solution for. There you go. I cannot see anything here. Is it maybe that you need to place this in a certain spot? Yeah, batteries E1 and E2. Okay, what do we got here? Do we have another password? Oh, Somewhere okay. hidden. Display failure. Okay. Yeah, but it's telling us on the other display that both of them. Yeah, so do we need to rewire e something e to Are correct. I did rewire it in the exact same order as the other one, and it can no longer be rewired, so I'm thinking it's set correctly. Oh, okay. Hmm. What are we thinking? Is it is it time for a hint? Is it hint time? I was exactly trying to, uh, thinking about proposing that myself, so I think, yes, let's take a hint. All right, let's take a hint. Maybe it's helping us. Okay, this hint. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it's telling us here. I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you and see what you think. Yeah, I think, I think what it's telling us is uh, solve all four there you go, of those Dan. and pull the trigger. Yeah, great, perfect. A hey, one out of seven. Um, great. Nope. I don't think that's helping me. <laughs> yeah, I don't no, think it's I helping think... me either. Okay. Is there any hidden? Button, item, etc. Good luck replacing the keypad. Is still password only in ascending order. Okay. Hmm. Let's take a look if there's something at the. Functioning battery. 
Yeah, the fuel tank monitor still is not showing anything, so that's why I'm wondering. Sensor reading. Fuel weight. Okay, so I think green. Batteries. Okay. Yeah, that's the... Yeah, so it's the batteries that is still... And we still can't do anything with the rewiring of that other battery, huh? Nope. Okay. So without this, I'm f is there anything we have overseen, overwatched, or a few? Uh, yeah. Terrible English right now. <laughs> so let's see. Is I'm still not sure if we need to. There's a thing with this pet needs to be fixed. If it's telling us something special. Just remember, the keypad still accepts passwords only in ascending order. So let's, once again, do we have, we do, the only clue in regards to passwords for the keypads is the one. Try this on the second one. So it's one, three, five. It should be that. Why is not working? Pretty sure that it might be maybe in the second compartment. And we need the digits for that one. And I have no clue. Which uh, so compartment you have... are you talking about, Tan? The, 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 the right one here with the message about the, the, oh. code, st uh, the okay. code still has to go in ascending order. Okay. And I'm not sure if there is anywhere another hint where we did not... Maybe see if there is anything hidden that might tell us what the code order is for that one. I didn't see any numbers on the tablet. Yeah, on the back side, but that was the... 1135, he said. Put it in yeah, the Oh, it was 1531 because that one took it in normal order. And this one is telling us it's only taking it in, in uh, ascending order, which would be one, one, three, five. Right. And it's not taking that. Okay. Hmm. I still have one more piece of piping, which is really odd to me because I don't know if we need to open la the other hatch if we need to have hatch D open yeah I'm still also but but it's telling us that that is correctly triggered isn't it it's only telling us the batteries are having an issue hmm also considering that D has a lot of broken dam uh, um, broken piping Especially leading from the fuel tank monitor. Yeah, that's why I'm not sure. Oh, let me see. Maybe swap the battery. We might. I'm not sure in which which was the working battery, which was the damaged one, in which of those two. Uh, so the working the damaged battery is what is currently on the crane right now, or the uncharged battery. Yeah, the uncharged battery, if that was in the other, uh, if they had been vice versa, or they need to be vice versa. Yes, because the, the, uh, the crane has it in E1 is the uncharged, and E2 has the charged. So are we thinking we need to switch them? Yeah, let's try this. I will, Okay. in the meantime, 
Take another hint. Oh, come on. No, that's not your... That's the clue. That's one of those... Uh, oh I no, what happened? Things. What happened? So, for the right container, when you take a look at the number pad, it has four numbers that are worn out. Okay. And it's basically press those in ascending order. Oh, so not the f five one one. There five. is no code hidden somewhere. It's basically <laughs> leaping, the, uh, making the jump to conclusion like, oh, well, so those are the four numbers that have been used the most. Oh, and it's dear. only taking them in adjacent <laughs> order. Oh, Tan, it fooled us. It fooled us, Tan. Um. All right, let's put this in here. All right, so now, yep, now we need. To now I need get to get the, the damaged battery out. I just flip-flopped them, Tan. Dang it. <laughs> no, that's, that's, yeah, that's the fault. That's the flipped one. Oh, good. Okay. Oops. Oh, it's upside down. It shouldn't matter. You might need to... Crouch? Do I have to crouch? There it goes. Okay. Need to get close enough and it might, should normally go and slide in. Yeah, yeah it did. All right. Now it looks like we got full batteries. You see the crane to put it back in place. I need to find it with the crane. <laughs> God, I'm not sure where it's currently placed at. Oh, there it is. Did we get... <laughs> hey! I think now we can pull the hatch. Yeah, we did it! <laughs> okay, so we are playing on hard mode, basically. <laughs> Where we're playing on uh, 10 is stupid mode. No, just no. <laughs> no, uh, I wouldn't have figured it out either. I was I was thinking we had to still route the rest of the hatches with the piping and stuff. But that was the clue which we needed, not the clue we first got. The clue Correct. we first got, yes, it's obvious. We need to figure out all those four and right. then we can unlock it. Yeah. Well, there we go, Tan. We're two for two now. Pretty darn good. I think I think we can successfully call that a good day. Yes. All right, and I believe oh, our brains have been puzzled, and our brains have been puzzled. Yeah, let's see. Um, do we know what time our lovely friends are streaming? Is Amanda Panda on today? I think Amanda and John are going to have something, and I think it's. I double check. I'm not sure which it was, if it was. Is she going to stream today? Stream is at noon today, not too... Okay, it's going to be over on John's channel, Book of Nerds. So, looks like he's still getting set up. So, we'll hang out here for just a second. Yeah, because it... Yeah, it should be noon, yeah. Yeah, yeah so we'll go ahead and... That was a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of fun. Amanda's today with John. Yes, thank you, Quaid. So I'm going to close out of the escape simulator, Tan. Thank you for joining me on that. Thank you for having me. That was that was fun to try to. I I definitely feel like those types uh, can be done with more more people working on them and, than just yourself. I mean, I'm sure you could still figure them out solo. I know you said you did a lot of them solo mode. Uh, but yeah. I feel uh, like we were it's... we were nice to have both of us kind of okay. I'm gonna tinker over here. You figure out this puzzle over there. I, I agree. So, I've, for example, uh, are you aware of the uh, the physical escape slash point and click games, uh, the adventure games? 
uh, published by Cosmos. Yes. Uh, co-designed by the wonderful Matthew Dunstan. Yes, I am familiar. So I've, with the exception of the newest one, which released a couple of weeks ago or late last year, I've played each of them solo by myself. So wow, that's amazing. But, but recently I decided that uh, I wanted to play more often with a friend of mine who is working for uh, Asmodee. Okay. And he lives in Essen now and he's uh, rarely back down here where he, uh, from, from this area. I know him for 25 years now. Yeah. Um, he, as, as a, he was a co-student uh, back at the university, so we both studied the same thing. And we met one day after the mathematics lectures because we both had a kill time. I, for example, to get my bus and then train for home. And uh, I was building some Magic the Gathering decks. And so we met up, chatted, and since then we are uh, as thick as it gets. <laughs> we're, we're one of those few people that I really consider uh, to, my, to, my close, to be one of my closest friends. And Aww. since he works for Asmodee, he hasn't been a lot around in this area, especially since he had to move to Essen. And so I thought, yeah, with all the um experience i now have with running games remotely i thought we might want to try more of those uh, especially the, uh, the the puzzly games with some story behind it okay so we had replayed the the the, uh, the first one the the dungeon yeah and it was much more fun to play with two people and uh, i'm looking forward to uh, having him and another friend join me for the new one and we recently also played the uh, first one of the sets from the suspects. Nice. I think you you have played that one as well, I think, with Amanda. Yes, yes, and I uh, actually, one of those. Right, and I've actually uh, was able to borrow a copy of Suspects, so I'm gonna go through and do another scenario. Um, not sure if so I'm gonna do it on I, stream or not, but they seem a lot of fun. And I we've played the Egyptian themed one. Very I'm not cool. Sure if that's the same one that you have maybe played. Yeah, and it, I agree. It, it's great to play them by yourself because it's great. It, for me, it feels great if I was able to solve this puzzle on my own. Yeah. Uh, but it's even more so frustrating if you are getting stuck and have no clue what to think because sometimes it's this that second brain that is thinking out of the box is so helpful. Yeah. This. Because then escape rooms like real life jobs, usually it is that the team does it. Not right. A single person. Yeah, Quaid says so he loves the Cosmos escape games. He picked up three of them in a thrift store recently. Wow. Yeah, the thing is, considering, uh, so I'm always, so when they are about the same price point as the exit games. Yeah. Uh, they are non destructive and you have much more time wise to play on them. So I enjoy them more than I enjoy the escape games. Although there is some of them that I would not recommend people to play. So there is especially the uh, the second to the newest one is the one which I did not quite enjoy because there was too much clues hidden in the flavor text. Okay. And that's always an issue for me, especially in, if you're playing those over three weekends and then you'll forget stuff. Yeah. yeah. But I like I like games like that. Um, yeah. yeah agreed. Agreed. I like those. Um I also, we just recently did an unlock game, but it was one of the scenarios that's like the three in one box scenarios. Uh, and that was a lot of fun because you have essentially three different games in one box experience before you can trade them away and things like that. So, um, yeah, and that's another big thing which I like about the unlocks yeah. and uh, as, uh, the, um, uh, uh, the adventure games are with Echoes. Yeah. I still have two more to play, I think, but with only one yet available in English. Yeah. Um, that they are non destructive. They're rather cheap. And it's a great thing to think and maybe give to your local library. Yes. That's agreed. the thing which I'm thinking of maybe doing once I've replayed them with my friends is asking the local library if they would like to put them up uh, where I could very go I can borrow yeah. them if I need them because it's a great thing uh, you play it once and it's like with books you simply go and borrow it and it's giving those games more play and that's yep. it has a sustainability for 100% 100% I know it's not as great for the for the publishers and that not for the designers but from an environmental standpoint and yeah. the fact that we only usually play these games a single time, it's great to give them a 
longer shelf life. Yes. And Quaid says, that's a great idea, Tan. Um, he also says what he likes when we're stuck and we just swap which puzzle the other person's working on. Sometimes a fresh set yeah. of eyes is all it needs. Yep. Exactly. Agreed. Agreed. Thing. Well, I just saw that Book of Nerds went live, everyone. So I'm going to send you all over on a ray train. Uh, Tan, I sent a shout out to you, my friend. But when is your next stream happening? Uh, not sure. Okay. Very, very, very likely. So there might be one tomorrow, but the chances are growing slimmer. And next week, very likely, there will be no streams because the I have now I have to go to office back two uh, days a week. Okay. And the coworker, which usually picks me up, uh, is not uh, working next week, so I will have to use the public transportation. Got which it. Which will make me lose nine hours. Ugh, a long day uh, for you, Tan. And then there's all the also the every third week eleven hour workday coming yeah. uh, and in, uh, added to that one. So it's so we'll just say TBD. <laughs> Yes, exactly. We'll so that's currently TBD. the thing. I do not have a set schedule. It's <laughs> so often I'm streaming not on my usual days because on those days it'll I'm be a surprise for everyone. Days. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks, Sorry. Chan. <laughs> thanks, everyone. Thanks, no, it's Chan. okay. It's all good. I'll send you all over to wonderful John and Amanda. They're going to be playing some Marvel Dice Throne today. So send them all the love. If you are a subscriber of the channel, make sure you use our nice little CCG raid emotes. Otherwise, just put some lovely emotes in the chat for them. And until next time, friends, stay safe. Enjoy your board games. Be kind to one another. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye, everyone. Yes, thanks again, Chan. Special powers. All right, let's see.